My name's Hutch. I make Call of Duty videos, put them on the internet. And what you guys are seeing on your screen right now is uh, one of the world's first victories in Warzone, which is uh, Call of Duty's BR that was just announced this morning. I was lucky enough to be invited to come out to Infinity Ward Studio in Santa Monica a couple weeks ago, and I got hands-on with the game for uh, probably about two to three hours. Um, so for me, it's been personally really uh, not that fun seeing all the rumors fly about maybe it's coming out on the third, or maybe it's coming out this date or whatever uh, and not being able to say anything but here we are and as far as disclaimers go I wasn't uh, I didn't stay at any hotel or anything like that but I was given a ride to the event from my apartment some people are confused when I give that disclaimer but I think I'm legally obligated to and it's just better just to let you guys know uh, but this video is not like a paid video or anything like that we were permitted to uh, capture gameplay and um, uh, take the video footage home and then, you know, do what I'm doing right now, which is just make a video giving our thoughts. Okay, so right off the rip, I'm going to tell you guys that I had a really, really good time playing Warzone. Like a ton of fun. Um, but I should also note that uh, because of the fact that I only got to play for a few hours, there's no way I can tell you right now, yes, this is the greatest and best BR that's ever been made, or really give you like that much of a definitive opinion. But what I can tell you is that for the entire time that we played, I really, really enjoyed myself and didn't find myself um, feeling too frustrated with anything. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how this BR differs from Blackout. I think it makes the most sense to compare it to that particular game because that's the only other BR in the Call of Duty series. And I will tell you that while it feels... Um, similar in many respects because then again this this is a Call of Duty game and so there's always going to be that sort of Call of Duty to feel that similarity that's sort of baked in um, but there are uh, quite a few substantial differences between the two BRs uh, and I also kind of want to talk about how I, in my opinion some of the other BRs that have been out there have influenced this game because one of the things that I think this game mode did really well uh, uh, with was um, borrowing aspects from other titles uh, not just in the Call of Duty series but uh, uh, other BRs that have existed including really obscure ones that didn't really take off that well and or take off that much and I'm gonna tell you guys about that in a minute um, but uh, <clears throat> so for example like the looting the looting in this game is way way faster than Blackout. The looting is more similar to Fortnite than it is Blackout. You don't have to worry about individual attachments. The guns that you get are sort of preloaded with attachments, and I think there are five different rarities uh, that you can get. Um, and each rarity that you uh, um, advance in will be uh, will have give the gun better attributes, so maybe better uh, weapon velocity or, uh, or I'm sorry, bullet velocity or maybe a better s uh, scope or um, maybe more damage. I'm not really sure how those metrics are sort of divvied up, but um, yeah, that's how this works. And for somebody um, like I, I, I didn't hate Blackout's looting system, but I much much prefer the Fortnite slash Warzone model where. If you kill someone, it shouldn't really take you more than five seconds to loot them. And that just wasn't the case with Blackout. Maybe some of the more experienced players that knew knew how to loot really fast and knew uh, which attachments to go for um, like right away, then maybe looting didn't take that long for, in Blackout. But in this game, it's much, much faster, and I way prefer that to the old model. Probably the biggest change that, uh, that came with Warzone so far that I saw was the addition of an economy. Uh, and I don't know how many of you guys play games on PC, I'm sure many of you guys that are watching this uh, uh, are console players, but on PC there was this game that came out, I want to say three years ago, perhaps four years ago, called Radical Heights, and it was this third person BR, it was an alpha, the graphics looked like Atari, it was super unfinished, really unpolished, but it had this system in the game where you could, uh, uh, whenever you got a kill, you, it would drop you money, and then you could go to a vending machine and then purchase better weapons. Um, I don't know if you could purchase armor or something like that, but basically you could just purchase items using the currency uh, while the game is actually going on. And I love that addition in this game. Um, the only time th that I think it could be an issue so far with what I played, again, I only played for a few hours, so if there's some other glaring problem with it that I'm unaware of, then 
we'll all find out together. But you can purchase um, a kill streak like uh, I think it was like a cluster bomb, and another one was an airstrike. And if you uh, if your entire team saves up. Uh, your economy and then everybody buys an airstrike and the circle gets really small at the end you can see how that's gonna get really really hectic so if there's one thing that maybe I think they'll have to tune is maybe disable kill streaks for like the final two circles or something like that but it's too early to tell I didn't get enough hands-on to be able to make that kind of a determination but some of the other things that you can purchase at these uh, vending machines that are littered throughout the map that are marked on the map if you see in the mini map in the upper left you see those icons it'll let you know where there's a purchasing station or an ATM whatever you call it in this game um, but some of the other things that you can purchase are armor which is huge like in Fortnite one of the things that can really kind of screw you is um, just bad RNG so you could search the entire Pleasant Park and not find a single shield potion or something like that I don't even know if it's the same map <laughs> in Fortnite anymore is Pleasant Park still a thing I have wait wasn't Pleasant Park in H1Z1 I don't know one of those games um, but yeah you can you can purchase armor you don't have to worry it like you can find armor too but if if push came to shove and RNG just wasn't on your side then you can easily find one of these stations and purchase armor so that's huge I was a big big fan of that Another thing that you can do with enough money is revive a teammate that's been killed or spawn him back into the action. So if a teammate was downed and then somebody finished the kill, you can actually bring them back. So that's one of the, um, that's another aspect from another BR that um, people really enjoyed. Uh, I think the first time we saw some form of this was in Apex. Um, so as you can see, like the, the game is drawing on a lot of these mechanics that really make these other games work. Um, these really successful mechanics and then weaving it into the Call of Duty framework um, and it felt good like it was just fun I felt I felt um, just to reiterate I felt like RNG was less important because it's not gonna take you that long to find a gun if you find like a green gun on the ground which is like I think the second tier of, uh, of, uh, of uh, like how these guns are ranked so there's like red and then green and then blue and then purple and then gold I think if you find a blue gun or something like that, you're going to be fine. It's not like if you find, like, uh, like, uh, um, um, like a shitty SMG in Blackout or something like that. And then you're just kind of screwed for the, for the opening salvos. Or, like, the first few fights. Like, it really shouldn't take you that long. Um, and that felt good. I should also say before I forget that this, uh, game mode is 150 players. So that is already 50 players above the standard for what BRs have become. And with the addition of the new Gulag system, which I don't know if you're going to see in this gameplay, maybe I can splice it in from some of my other footage or something like that. I can't remember if I died in this gameplay, but I, you do get sent to a Gulag, you get put in a queue, and then you have a 1v1 with some other random person that has already died, and then whoever wins gets to spawn back in. So not only is it 150 players, not only can you revive teammates at ATM machines or vending machines, uh, 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 but also you can get sent to the gulag and then come back. So, um, so the, the I found like the action was uh, pretty consistent. Like there's some downtime in this gameplay that you're seeing where we're just kind of running around and looting and looking for players, but it, there wasn't really a whole lot of time to, uh, uh, in between fights and um, it really like you can hear the bullets from really far away and so it's sort of like ringing a dinner bell um, uh, and with this many players and with this many players coming back after being downed uh, I think you'll find what I found which is that this is a pretty fast place uh, fast paced BR um, I also want to go back to uh, the armor system this is another uh, uh, mechanic that I feel like they borrowed from uh, a lesser known BR which is the Battlefield 5 BR Firestorm which in my opinion was phenomenal it was a really good map it was a really good concept of the fire actually it's it's, it's literally a ring of fire that's like encapsulating the uh, entire map but the way that they did um, it's just unfortunate with that game because it completely died on PC after I'm gonna say a week or two um, but one of the best things about their BR was that uh, um, it used uh, a really simplified armor system. So Blackout, for example, I thought it was fun to find a level 3 armor. You sort of felt like a god. But with the way that the armor worked and the fact that it could possibly break, 
if you didn't have scraps to repair it. Uh, it made the gunfight super inconsistent, so you never really knew if the guy you were about to fight had 300 HP or 125 HP. And so sometimes it would take you um, one and a half seconds to drop somebody, sometimes it would take you five seconds, and I think that frustrated and turned off a lot of players. And as much as they improved the armor system throughout the game's life cycle, I still don't feel like it was ideal. Uh, but that's not the case in this game. In this game, it's very simple. You get 100 HP, your base HP will regenerate, just like it's the regular MP game, so that's a little bit different. And some of the old, uh, uh, in, some, uh, in, in Blackout, your health wouldn't regenerate, you had to use health packs. And before I forget what you're watching on the screen right there, is you can find these little boxes. I can't remember what they, they're called, but they'll drop out of the sky with a parachute. And if you find the box, you can open it up and switch out whatever gun you have equipped with a pre-customized class. Uh, and that includes a perk too, so it's actually super, super useful. And I have officially forgotten what I was talking about. Okay, so the armor. So you get a 100 HP base, and that uh, uh, will regenerate, like I said. Um, and then you have these armor scraps that are worth 50 points each. And so if you get three armor scraps, you see the little in, in the bottom left where it says Hutch. There's three slots above where my HP is, letting you know that I have one armor slot left. Or one armor scrap left, and um, it's it's been depleted just a little bit. Um, this is so uh, much better in terms of uh, making a consistent ex experience because, for the most part, the people that you run into towards a late game are gonna have the same amount of HP. HP. It doesn't matter what kind of armor they have, whether or not it's level one, level level two, or level three. Um, pretty much everybody that you run into is gonna have 250. HP because it's not f hard to find armor scraps. It's not hard to find vending machines to buy armor scraps and uh, Yeah, the availability is just um, um, Everywhere so it makes the game a lot more consistent. I really enjoyed that armor system when I played it in Firestorm I thought it was perfect and uh, I'm so glad that they did this with this game, too And I'm also glad that they introduced the fact that you can regen health. That's that's new that usually isn't the case in these kinds of games you need to apply like a med pack or something like that but um, so if you're if if you get screwed in the late game and you don't have uh, any armor scraps or anything like that you can still fight people if you can use your cover correctly if you can you get if you can use it intelligently um, also what you just saw me right there you can drop items too so if your buddy needs an armor scrap or something they make it really easy for you to drop it so this next part is kind of a bummer um, because uh, I love playing these kinds of BRs solo in my opinion, it's the most pure kind of BR experience. You beat 149 other players as opposed to doing it with uh, a teammate or a couple teammates or something like that. There's, um, I feel like the feeling of satisfaction that you get after winning a solo BR is um, unrivaled. I don't get the same. I don't get the same kind of feeling uh, when I do it with uh, like a really stacked team of ex experienced players or something like that. This game. Again, in my opinion, unfortunately, only has 3v3s right now. <coughs> oh, I shouldn't say 3v3s. Groups of three. It's basically exactly how it is in Apex. So you can solo queue. You don't have to uh, have a team. You can drop in by yourself and try to 1v3 all the teams that you run into. Or you can um, do that with with one teammate and just can, you know, do it with a t team of two. Or you can drop in with three. Um... Actually, now that I think about it, I take that back. I don't think you can do that with Apex. I'm pretty sure Apex forces you to drop in with three players every time. This game is a little bit different. So, like, it's teams of three, but um, uh, you can drop in solo if you want. I might actually still do that from time to time, just as, like, a challenge, but it's going to be tough. In a game where so many people are coming back after being downed, and uh, in a game with 150 players, it's, it's, I, it's not going to be impossible, but it's going to be difficult. It's going to be tricky. So perhaps the most important part of um, uh, this release of Warzone that I somehow forgot to mention in the first two minutes, because it is the most important part, is that this is a free-to-play game, and it's cross-play. Um, so you can access the game through the Modern Warfare client if you already purchased the game or if you just want to play uh, the Warzone BR, which also includes a separate game mode, which I haven't even talked about yet called Plunder, um, then you can download it separately as well. And so I have, um, 
I have a lot of confidence that this game is going to be really well populated at least for like a year, a year and a half, perhaps even two or three years. The fact that it's free to play totally changes the game. I don't know if they're going to try to uh, expand on this game or if they're going to drop a brand new version of this game like two or three years from now or something like that, but I have no doubt that this game is going to be really well populated and that was one of my biggest concerns coming from playing on PC because Blackout was pretty much dead uh, right around the time that Apex dropped on PC. Once that game came out, because it was free to play and because it was a really well polished game, uh, it, I, I believe it really sapped a lot of the player base from Blackout because it was pretty much a ghost town on PC after that, especially if you were playing solos. Sometimes you could find sort of squad games or group games or whatever. Um, it was a little bit easier to find those games, but it still might have taken you literally 10 minutes for a game to populate enough so that the match actually begins. So. I cannot wait to see um, where this game goes from here. I've really missed BRs. I'm also kind of glad that this came out like six months into the game's life cycle because um, uh, I had such a good time playing sort of like the competitive S and D um, uh, uh, game mode in um, Modern Warfare. And uh, I don't think I would have been playing that had this BR come out now. But now that this BR is coming out like halfway through the game's life cycle, it's like injecting a shitload of life into the game that already was, you know, sustaining a lot of its player base. So I'm super excited. I, 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 I'm, I'm almost positive this is going to be a really good BR. And this is going to be something that I play long term, uh, if, if not the only game that I play long term. I just really enjoy BRs. I really enjoy this experience, and I think they did a, a, a fantastic job of polishing polishing, polishing this um, to make it uh, that really smooth, buttery smooth uh, Call of Duty feel in a brand new map with a bunch of borrowed mechanics that worked really well for other games, and they fit perfectly in this game as well. Um, I, I can't say it enough. I'm very excited. I had a really good time with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play out so you can just sort of see just raw, unfiltered gameplay without my annoying voice in the background. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, there's a guy at the back. Right behind us. Very preoccupied with me. There we go. He's down, right? Eh? That last one? Oh, that's a fucking purple. I'm just gonna buy armor. Where is it? There it is. Oh, yeah. Gas yeah. I think there was another guy sniping on that ridge line, like um, 210, 195. Could be wrong. Get through the safe zone. That's a uh, 330. Oh, is this an HDR? It is. Yeah, we're all good on armor plates now, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You hear a vehicle? Nah. Oh, he's still sniping on that ridge. 150, 150. He's up uh, on the very top or the t the top tree. Are you see him uh, kind of crawling? Yeah. This? There's two of them. They feels on now. I think so. I see him. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Oh, they have a oh, airstrike. Air, oh air my strike, god. Airstrike, airstrike. Oh. There's a little building down here to the left, to the... Oh yeah, west. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, we're good. Here we go. That could have been really bad. Yeah. Kind of lost orientation of where they are, though. Okay. Well, they're gonna be down here uh, south. Yeah, they couldn't have crossed the bridge. Final oh, deployment is loaded up. Them, uh, Finish the fight. Heading into that building. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gas is in we got these guys ahead of us, up above us here as well. No, 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 no.
All right, I'm behind cover. Uh, yeah, you can get the res. You can get the res. I'll watch over. Uh, where, 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 where? Is he? Okay, yeah, got it. You're okay. Move. Yeah, we should be He's good. Gonna we should be good. Armor up. He's up. Yeah, heal up, heal up. Should be alright. The enemy lost track of your sight. Call the UAV. There you go. The guy close. The guy close in his building, I think. This is Falcon Three O. We've got the guy close. UAV beginning flyover. You just you can push this together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. He's he's sold up in here. Yeah, right to the left. I don't see him. Alright, he's in the corner by the building. He's down me. Fight through it. Stand up. Returning to resupply. Oh shit, the guy. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Yeah. Can we outrun it? Yeah, I think it's very. Good shot, okay, yeah, jump over. Had a chopper? Nice. Oh, I'm getting shot. Uh, I don't know where. Yeah, we're getting shot. I don't think it's uh, going well with me. I got one. Oh, this guy's so nice. Hey, I might be able to crawl behind him. Get you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. You <laughs> you have to get him now. Don't let me revive you. There we go. <coughs> oh shit! Right, nice Run in and Yo, spend punch, money punch. and revive him. Can you? Hey, that again? You could run in, use that that pay station, and revive our friend. Yeah. We could do. <coughs> he's, he's literally only oh, four no. people left, though. That guy sucks. He's four, four people left. He's four people left. Right. No, don't worry about it. If, if, if there's enough chin, he do it, but yeah. Oh, wait, we're high up. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we gotta jump down. You can, you can oh, parachute there, right? Oh, yeah, 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 there's yeah, a, yeah, there's a buy th station right there. Gas is coming out <laughs> quick, but you guys. Oh, this sucks. I'm parachuting on someone? He, he doesn't see me? Okay. Still oh, behind me. I could not hear. Oh, Gas is inbound. Marking you safe zone. Got one. This is your last. Oh, let's go. Choice. Wait, 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 wait. Last, last squad. Oh, shit. You gotta finish it, wait. man. I think oh, that's it. Oh, finish it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 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 Wait,